Prepism in a Syrian Hamster This 2.5-year-old Syrian hamster is suffering from a medical condition. What is it suffering from? First, let's have a look at the hamster's physical condition. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. The second case is quite an old Syrian hamster. This Syrian hamster is about two and a half years old, adopted from SPC. Now you can see it's very thin. It's all bones actually. That uh, he wasn't eating much, but he still looks good. Yeah, the coat is pretty, quite good coat. Yeah. The eyes are okay, so this shows that this hamster is not sick. The main complaint is the prepuce is swollen, so the penis cannot go in. And only for one week. Then the other thing is the tail. The tail just seems longer than it was before. Next, the vet finds out about the hamster's diet and eating habits. The hamster eats regularly, as evidenced by the large amounts of feces found in his bedding. The hamster also drinks a lot of water and urinates a lot, but he has lost weight. These are symptoms of polydipsia, which is strong thirst, and polyuria, which is the production of large amounts of urine. The vet carries out an examination of the hamster to find out what exactly is wrong with it. The prepuce is us. The penis is swollen due to licking it. So that it's too, it's too swollen to go in. You see. To ascertain the root of the problem, the vet performs kidney palpations. The only problem is he could be having a in infection of the urinary tract. Mm. That's why he, he has painful peeing and then mm. he keeps on licking his penis so they're swollen. Prepism refers to persistent and prolonged erection of the penis. If untreated, the penis may become gangrenous or infected. It's possibly that because he, he drinks a lot and pee a lot, most likely he may have kidney problems, uh, kidney or diabetes mm. uh, due to old age. This one we can give you the anti-inflammatory painkiller to bring down the inflammation. Yeah. Keep on giving antibiotics. Now I will give antibiotics here then and painkiller. Now let's see how I give. Two drops. Okay. Two drops. No. I miss miss the two drops out. That's a good set. Two drops. Eh? Every day, can you just massage him like this so that it goes in? The hamster was left at Tuapayo Vets overnight for treatment. Now it's not so swollen. So you look at the this is the urine, a bit discolored, huh? and these are the stools. Huh? This shows that he has been eating also. Otherwise, there'll be no stools. Huh? Oh, he's eating. His appetite has improved. The hamster returned to its owner after one day of hospitalization. The owner is instructed to carry out all recommended treatments and to bring the hamster back if the problem persists. All in all, this is a very rare case, especially in neutered hamsters. While the main cause of its thinness may be due to the urinary tract infection, it is also possible that it is caused by other reasons. For example, old age leads to decreased appetite and longer teeth, causing difficulty in eating or kidney diseases. Nevertheless, it is recommended that one brings the hamster to the clinic for professional diagnosis upon first signs of loss of appetite or prepism. Well, the teeth is overgrown, the lower tooth. There could be one reason he is not able to eat uh, normally see the teeth. Mm -hmm. That is overgrown. They curl up with, curl oh. up upwards to his heart palate. No? I have already clipped short already. Huh? Otherwise he can't eat because it's, it was about another four millimeter long.